that I can't do right now. Alright, so let me cross those off my list. What else can we do? Ah, oh, yes. There are two things we can do. Two more things we can do here in Kakariko. But first, I want it to be nighttime for one of them. Yes, there's one more Skulltula we can get here in Kakariko Village as an adult. And this is the only Skulltula here in Kakariko as an adult. That's right, only one. Whereas when you were a kid, there was like 60. Okay, no, but there was a lot, so. That's why it's kind of weird. This is like Kakariko Heaven, or this is like Skulltula Heaven back in the day. Alright, so let's use our hook shot and get on top of this roof here. We're gonna do some hook shot. Oop! No, no, no. Get back up there, Link. We're gonna do some hook shot roof jumping. Try to get on top of Impa's roof. This is Impa's house, by the way, for those of you who don't know. This is Impa's house. Alright, and we've got a Skulltula back there on Impa's house. Alright, and we got the Skulltula. Now. How many Skulltulas do we have? We should have like 41, 42. We got 43. Cool. Better than I thought. So, now that we have 40, we can go get the prize for freeing the kid with 40 Skulltulas. Don't know which one of them it is here, but... Is it you? Yeah, okay. I already talked to you. Maybe you with the baby blue shirt? Oh yes, the curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you! And for killing 40 Skulltulas, you get a bomb chew. A freaking bomb chew. Well, it's actually like 10 bomb chews, but seriously, who gives a shit? You only need bomb chews like once in the game. Alright, so only one more guy to free here, and we need 50 to free him, so 7 more. And then we need 100 to free the main guy there, so... We'll be back here a little bit later when we get 50, and then we won't be back here for quite a while. So, that's all I wanted to do in Kakariko for now. Um... Now, actually, I want to go back to being a kid. So, let's warp to the Temple of... Oh, the Temple of Time. Once I remember that song, I still don't have that down. The Prelude of Light. <laughs> yes, we'll warp to the Temple of Time. Alright, I think that's the first time I've actually warped somewhere. So yeah, there's the animation for that. Alright, man, I may wasted a lot of my rupees on that quiver game. Oh, I've still got 273, nice. Yeah, so if you ever need rupees, you can go hunting for those big poes, and you get 50 for each one, so that's a that's a good way, I guess. And even though Link now has the Begoran Sword, he will still return the Master Sword to the... Uh, but, but, yeah, he'll still return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. And return to a kid form. <coughs> now, even though I'm wearing the blue tunic... Um, like King Zora said, those are only adult size, so no matter what tunic you have, Young Link here will have the green tunic. Um, so what did I want to do? Top, pop, whoop, crop, whoop, crop. Actually, let's use the uh, Serenade of Water, too. Oops. Yeah, let's use the Serenade of Water. You can use these warp songs as a kid, too to warp to Lake Hylia. Yeah. Now we got all those Skulltulas here as a kid, I'm sure we did, right? Yeah, so this warps you out to the lake way out here, way out here in the middle of, you know, nowhere. But anyway, we can still use that warp. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what are those columns down there? That's interesting. But anyway, we can still use this warp as a kid to get to Zora's River, the end of Zora's River. This warp right here. Or no, actually this takes you to Zora's Fountain. As an adult though, however, you won't be able to take this because since Zora's domain is frozen over, this little there'll be a little ice block blocking this right here. And uh Yeah, so you won't be able to Link dive. <laughs> So yeah, you won't be able to take this warp, so there's no real fast way to get to Zora's domain as a as an adult. Really. Alright, so what did I want to do here? Can I warn these guys about like what's happening in the future? King Zora, dude, you're gonna be frozen in red eyes and Gendorf's gonna freeze this place over with ice beam. Be careful. No, 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 not really. You can't do that. But I, what I wanted to do was in Zora's river, that's where my business was. Did I miss any Skulltulas here? 
I don't think so. Well, it's daytime anyway, so not like it matters. Up, up. Yeah, you could also use the um, the forest song, whatever it's called, Minue of Forest. And uh, from the Lost Woods, you can warp over here. All right, let's just uh, jump in the water. That's where I want to go. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, no, no! Actually, go up here. There is something I wanted to do over here that I totally forgot about. I was talking about it in a different episode. If you jump on this log right here, Navi will go over here, insinuating that there's something over here. Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. That's right. And if you pull out your ocarina and play the Song of Storms, they will respond quite well. Yes. Uh, yeah, well, but basically they like it when it rains, so they'll give you a piece of heart for that. Now, there is another piece of heart to be gotten here. If you play any other of your ocarina songs besides the warping songs, these guys will... One of them, one of the frogs, will grow in size. Okay, for example, the A button guy grew up there. You played the ocarina well. Take rupees as a souvenir. If you can play another nice melody, please drop by and play it. <coughs> So yeah, play any of your regular songs here, and you'll get 50 rupees, so this is a good way for songs as well. And basically, you have to play, 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 play five of your original songs. All five of these original songs, and the Song of Storms gets you a piece of heart. So now let's play the Song of Time. Alright. And what does this do? Does it return us back to the dawn of the first day? No, not quite. It just makes the little pink guy over there get bigger. And we get 50 more rupees. We're going to max out our wallet right here. Okay, now let's play another song. Let's play Pona song. Woohoo, yeah. And that makes that guy in the back there grow bigger. So two more songs. Make all these frogs grow bigger. Yes, this is definitely a good rupee gaining trick. Alright, now we've forgotten one of the most obvious ones. Zelda's Lullaby. Yeah, you have to play this all the time. You don't really get a break from this song ever. I don't know if using certain songs makes certain ones grow or it's just random. Okay, so now the little guy in the middle is the only small one there. It looks like they're going to jump him. Alright, we're just about maxed out on rupees. What song have I... Oh, no, no, no. I want to check what song I've forgotten. I don't, I don't remember. What song I have left? What song is it? Uh. Oh, Saria song, duh. Okay. All right, and with that, boom! Look at them, they're all big. Young lad, you played the ocarina well. Hmm, that melody is so fine, Ribbit. We should all practice it, Ribbit. Take rupees as a souvenir. If you come up with another nice melody, please drop by and play it, Ribbit, Ribbit. Well, I think you have to pop it out one more time. There you go. Look at us. We're all huge frogs. We are the world famous, fabulous five froggish tenors. Ribbit. Make us jump so we can eat the bugs flying above us, Ribbit. Ah, yes, and then once you make them all big, you play this mini game. Pretty much a button pressing mini game. Ah, damn. What are you talking about? I pressed it. Oh, this has got to be the stupidest fucking minigame I've ever played in my life. I pressed it, asshole. See, this game is like nothing. It's like it's like an automatic first try victory on the actual N64, which is what I should have played this on if I was smart. I pressed it, shithead. It's not my fault you couldn't pick it up. Do you see that, dude? How many times have I pressed that button? See, it works just now when I threw out that boomerang. Thank you. Oh, thank lord. I'm not even going to tell you guys how long that took me. I'm not going to tell you because it's embarrassing. Young boy, you did great. Perfect. We are stuffed, Ribbit. Would you take this token of our gratitude? Hell yes, I will take it. You should give me a few more, too. And as you can see, we've maxed out our rupees since we did that, so... That's good, I guess. But anyway, that's still not what I wanted to do here. That I just got sidetracked. Uh, that's cool. It's nighttime now, so that's interesting, but... What I actually wanted to do is the first part of the, like, lamest side quest in the game. Ah, uh, well, I couldn't get up there, so I guess I'm going down for the ride. 
but yeah, it's not really a side quest. It's just a tedious thing you got to do that leads to a lot of heart pieces and whatnot. But oh well, here goes. Did I ever get this Skulltula? Yeah, I did. Okay. Anyway, as a kid, when you come here, you can talk to this guy. And it's a good thing we maxed out our rupees now. This is actually a perfect time. So 